Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I would like to show you 10 ways that will dramatically increase the battery life of your Samsung Galaxy Note 8. The Note 8 does have a pretty good battery life and should normally last you a full day with medium to heavy use. However, not every day is a perfect day and sometimes the battery runs out sooner than later, which could lead to minor or massive inconveniences. So let's dive in and discover how to extend. Also, if you do use Instagram and Twitter, make sure to follow me on both at Saki Tech Online. All right, let's go. All right, so one of the biggest battery killers is actually the display brightness and the time that the display is actually on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna optimize both so they take, they waste minimum amount of battery life. So the first step is to go into the settings and then go under display and scroll down to where it says screen timeout. If you have anything other than 15 seconds set, you're wasting battery life. So basically what happens here is uh, when you put your phone on the table and you walk away, assuming you, you left it on, it takes, in this scenario, it's going to take two minutes before the display turns on. That means the display is going to be on for no reason for two minutes. So you want to make sure that is absolutely minimized and that's going to be 15 seconds. So in this scenario, uh, after 15 seconds of inactivity of this phone, the display is just going to turn off and that's going to save you a lot of battery life. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to leave this in two minutes. Uh, and the other thing you want to do is this time we're gonna optimize the display brightness. If you go to the top here, it says auto brightness. Make sure the auto brightness is actually disabled, okay? Because we're gonna actually manage this manually. And what I recommend is to actually take this slider and put this slider to 25%, okay? So that's 25, that's 50, 75, 100. So keep it uh, a quarter of the display brightness and that's gonna give you great visibility and if you ever need to increase the brightness under daytime conditions to see the display, you can just manually adjust the brightness. The auto brightness setting is not always perfect. It, it's not designed to optimize your battery life. It's designed to actually adjust the display's brightness based on ambient lightning. And just a quick tip in relation to this thing, uh, if you go down here, if you pull down the notifications panel, You'll see that there's a quick display brightness slider over here that allows you to adjust display back and forth. Now you should keep it at 25%, but if you need to, you should increase this as you please. Now some people may not see this uh, slider here. What you wanna do if you don't see this is you wanna pull down the entire thing, then you'll see it here. Then you wanna tap the arrow over here that's gonna expand the option that says show control on top. If I disable this and if I get out of here, you'll see that the control doesn't show up here. And that's, some people have that right now. Okay, so if you wanna see that quick slider up here, pull this down, tap, you'll see it right here, tap the arrow and enable show control on top. And this is just for quick and easy access to adjust the uh, display brightness uh, when you need it. Now let's go back into display. I'm gonna show you one more thing you need to do right here, which has to do with the screen resolution, which is right here. So tap on this. And you know that your phone comes with a Quad HD Plus resolution, which is right here, okay? So the higher the resolution, the more pixels your display has to push, which means it has to waste more battery life. So if you have it right here, just switch it to Full HD Plus and click Apply, and that's gonna reduce the uh, overall screen resolution, and it's gonna also save you battery life. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't really matter as far as the display quality goes, uh, full HD Plus is still plenty sharp for you to enjoy everything. And of course, if you want to save even more battery life, you can reduce the screen resolution even lower to HD Plus and then click Apply. And as you can see, the screen resolution is now lower and it's going to even uh, consume less battery life. I like to keep it balanced at Full HD Plus so I can enjoy things nice and clean and also optimize the battery life. All right, let's move on to the next tip. All right, so let's go back into the main settings screen. And over here, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the device maintenance screen. Uh, from here, tap on battery, and that's gonna take us into the battery power savings management screen. Now, as you can see over here, you have a bunch of options. You have the option to turn power savings mode off. Uh, you can turn on the medium mode or the maximum mode. And at the bottom here, every time you come into this um, screen, you'll see the app 
power monitor. And it's gonna say, tap save power, this button here, uh, to stop these applications listed here uh, from using your battery while you're not using them. Instagram, Pages Manager, this app, uh, YouTube Studio, and all these apps are using power behind the scenes and it's wasting battery life. If you don't want them, just tap save power and it's gonna kill all these apps and they're not gonna run in the background uh, wasting further battery life. But the biggest thing is over here, the battery power savings mode. Uh, right now it's off, but if I tap on this mid, it brings up a menu, okay? From this menu, if you look at the bottom here, it says if you click apply, it's gonna add three hours and 24 minutes of extra battery life uh, based on my current usage statistics. So if I do click apply, it's gonna make the changes, it's listing, so it's gonna decrease the brightness, decrease the screen resolution, uh, it's gonna turn on the speed limiter, and now I have three more hours of battery life. Now let me turn that off really quick. Uh, if I tap this, it's turning that off. And I wanna show you how to customize each one of these modes. So if I do tap on this guy, it brings up a menu and it shows me what it's gonna do. It's gonna decrease the brightness by 5%. It's gonna decrease the screen resolution to full HD+, plus, which is what I already have. It's gonna uh, turn on the speed limiter for the CPU. So the processor is gonna eat less battery life also and it's gonna turn off the always on display and the background network usage. What you could do is you could tap the customize button and actually change all of those individual settings. So I would prefer to have 10% increase, uh, decrease in brightness or not, okay? So the funny thing is when you choose one of these, at the bottom it tells you how many uh, extra minutes you're gonna gain. So if I tap this, uh, I get one plus hours of battery life. If I tap this, I only get 30 minutes of extra battery life. And if I click none, I get nothing. And again, I can do the same thing with the screen resolution. If I lower the screen resolution to HD+, I get 10 minutes of extra battery life. Uh, same with the speed limiter. Background network usage can also be disabled. Okay, so enable or disable. And also make sure the always on display is um, turned off. And then when you're ready, you click apply. So again, you can customize individual savings modes here. Now let's say that you were in a pinch. You don't have access to a charger. You're in the middle of nowhere and you only have 15 or 10% of battery life and you wanna really maximize it. You wanna then use the maximum battery power savings mode. So right now I only have 16 hours of battery life left based on my current usage. But as you can see, if I tap on max, it's gonna extend it to 56 hours of battery life. Let's see how that happens. Let's tap on max, brings up the menu. You can customize this also, but let's not customize anything. Let's just tap apply and see what happens. What's gonna happen is, it's literally gonna transform my smartphone into a black and white display with only minimum amount of applications running in the background. It's also gonna disable access to some of the heavy duty apps such as games and videos. So let's see what happens and boom, that's all you get, okay? So if you wanna make a phone call or send a message, that's great. If you wanna to go to the settings, that's also great. Everything is black and white, so it's uh, not eating as much battery life. And if you wanna add another app, you can tap this and you can add another app. I can add gallery, you know, I can tap this plus, I can add my files. So you can add a bunch of files here that you wanna use, I mean apps you wanna use in this mode, but you're gonna get maximum amount of battery life with this mode, okay? I mean, I had 5% of battery life left and I was in an airport and I clicked this and it gave me 10 hours of battery life where I was still able to text and make a bunch of phone calls. Uh, and when you're done with this, you click turn off maximum power savings mode and you go right back into the uh, regular mode. There we go. And again, this, um, this is gonna be right here in the device maintenance under battery, okay? And you wanna use this only when you're in a pinch, but this you can use anytime. And the next thing I wanna talk about is also here in the device maintenance, make sure you go to the performance mode over here and make sure if you want to maximize battery life, you keep it at optimized. Because you could pick game, you could pick entertainment, and you can also pick, uh, pick high performance, but all these guys will increase the brightness and they're also gonna increase the CPU clock speed. So it's gonna, it's gonna eat more battery. So make sure this one remains in optimized unless you specifically want to game or watch a movie or just want high performance mode for anything. 
All right, so that's that. Let's move on to the next tip. All right, so another biggest battery eater is the location setting. So basically your phone is always using your GPS, especially when you're using the Maps application to track exactly where you are, and that requires a lot of power. So what you wanna do is, let's say you're not using the GPS, you're just sitting somewhere and you're just playing with your phone, you can turn off the location settings so it doesn't actually try to track your location at all times, thus saving uh, wasting battery life. So go to the settings. Actually, you can do this from the quick toggles. If you go to the quick toggles, and if you look around, you'll see the location setting right here, and you can disable location setting. Now, when you disable this, your GPS is not going to work, obviously. So if you want your GPS to work, you have to uh, re-enable this. And normally when you do uh, launch your GPS, it will remind you to turn on the location setting uh, just in case. Now, if we go back into the actual location settings, press and hold, it will take you to location settings. Uh, you can turn it on and off for individual apps, but I don't recommend any of that. Uh, just when you have this enabled, you can also go to location, uh, locating method and make sure uh, you can actually keep it still enabled, but optimize it for battery savings okay so some people prefer this better because they prefer to have their location turned on at all times for tracking purposes and you can also do this for battery savings so if you want to do this all you do is you go to uh, the uh, settings menu you go to connections and you simply go into location at the bottom here tap it and then pick a locating method and pick uh, battery savings or you can just turn it off all right, you can do it from here or you can do it from the quick toggles uh, somewhere in your toggles. All right, so let's move on to the next tip. Now we're moving on to tips that don't have a major effect, but as a total, they may have an effect, okay? So individually, they may save you 1% of battery life, but collectively, they'll save you five to 10%, maybe a little bit less than that. But uh, what you wanna do is you wanna go to the settings, uh, you want to go to connections again, and obviously, if you don't need Wi-Fi at, at any given moment, you disable that because Wi-Fi does eat battery life. Same with Bluetooth. Just by having this on, your phone is actually wasting some battery. Okay, so if you don't need Bluetooth, turn that off as well. And finally, same thing with NFC and payment. These are all wireless standards. Okay, so all these are wireless standards and wireless standards require power. So you can turn that off also if you don't need it at any given moment. Now remember, if you do turn this off, you're not gonna be able to use Samsung Pay. So just be aware of what you're doing. So let's just keep all these enabled for now. This is just a demonstration, but to save battery, you can turn them off. And then continuing with more options, if you go back here, again, these are the things that don't save too much battery life, but collectively they can. What you wanna do is go to the main settings, go to advanced features, and basically turn off all the advanced features. The smart stay, this is an option uh, that makes sure that your display remains on as long as your eyes are looking to the sensor. So it basically tracks whether or not you're looking at the phone and if you are looking at the phone, it keeps the screen on. So turn that off and that's gonna save you some battery life. Uh, you can turn off, you can keep these three, but go all the way down and you can turn off smart capture, palm swipe to capture, direct call, smart alert, easy mute, and, and you can actually leave this on, that's not a big deal. But these guys here, if you turn them off, collectively they may get you two to three percent of battery life. All right, let's see what else we have left. The final thing is has to do with your edge screen. So if I go to the edge settings, uh, let's go to display, scroll down, and go to the um, where is the edge screen? Right there. Go to the edge screen, and on the bottom here, this you don't have to worry about. But this one here is called edge lighting. So basically when you get a notification, you get a light around the edges of the device. Obviously that's gonna waste some battery life, so you can disable that as well, just in case, all right? And uh, there's one more thing actually, one final thing. All right, the final thing I wanna talk about is the always on display. So go to the settings, go to lock screen and security, and look for always on display, and make sure it is in fact turned off. If you enable this, what's gonna happen is, it's gonna give you an always on display that always gives you something like this, even when your phone is turned off. So that's gonna definitely eat some battery life. It's gonna eat a lot of battery life, okay? So make sure this thing is uh, disabled, and if you do enable it, 
what you could do is you could go to the bottom here where it says show always. So if you tap this, it's going to show this at all times. Every time you turn off your phone, one of these guys is going to pop up, giving you the time, the date, and little information. Uh, what you could do is you can disable show always and set a schedule and coincide that schedule with the times you're sleeping and hopefully your phone is attached to a charger. The reason you want to do this is because this thing can actually uh, double up as an alarm clock so at night you can glance at it, you can get the time, the date and whatever if you have a missed notification. Uh, so if you want to turn, keep that on at night time and use this as an alarm clock, you can set a schedule but the only thing is you have to make sure that your phone is actually charging while you're sleeping. Normally though, just turn that off and you're good to go. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech Online, for which links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day.